Shackleton's crater, the moon's south pole. Inside the lander is a cylinder which contains an inflatable dome and two robot 3D printers. After the cylinder containing the habitation capsule has been unloaded, a dome is inflated from one end. This provides the support structure for construction, a little like scaffolding is used to build on Earth. The lunar habitation is built by a robot-operated 3D printer. At one end, it has a scoop to collect the regolith. In the centre are the containers for the printing material. At the other end, there is a robotic arm with a printing head. The robot collects regolith from the moon's surface. Layers of this moon dust are built up over the dome to create the protective shell. This process takes about three Earth months. The shell is made up of a hollow, closed cellular structure. Under a microscope, it would look very similar to the close-up of a bird's bone. Like a bone, it is light and incredibly strong at the same time. When the lunar base is complete, it can house four people. Inside the dome, they are protected from meteorites, gamma radiation and high temperature fluctuations. The original capsule functions as an airlock and technical support module. The skylights draw daylight into the living and workspaces, which are sheltered within a pressurized enclosure. This method is a pioneering advance in space age construction at Foster & Partners, we're used to designing for some of the world's most extreme climates. We often use materials found locally to create sustainable buildings on Earth. While the Moon is an exciting new territory for architecture, the value of this logic endures.